back like we never left. SV here with the live reaction to the God of High School. This week, we're going to chapter 83 to 85, so let's get it. GOH chapter 83, let's get it cracking. Yeah, bro, I'm right. This fight, right we left off, boy. Ilpio shooketh. He's like, what are you? Pow! Mori, instantly. Boom! Quick one, right to the jaw. Because we again, last chapter ended off with Mori like using the techniques of his homies. Like, and not even just his homies. He used the technique of old boy Ilpio, bro. <laughs> bro, it's crazy. So he uses the swordless slash. He uses the Brazilian kick from day from day we, and then uses the move. I think it was called Gaksu. It's the move that Ilpio uses to like react to things via the touch. You know what I'm saying? So Mori is on another level right now. Pow! Quick quote, right in his face. As that happens, he Mori hooks him with a leg, brings Ilpio down. Boom! And shit. As it happens, you see Mori. Continuous blows. Bing, bing. Two hand strikes. Bow, 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 bow. Wow. Ah, ah. Everyone's cheering. Ah, yeah. Ah, ah. As boom, 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 boom. Mori just beating the man up. Ilpio is the bad guy here. Yes. Yes, he. Bro. What, what do you mean? Yes, he's the bad guy. <laughs> And everyone is, oh, so we see, as he's getting beat up, Ilpio's not down, Ilpio not down, down for the count, bro. He says, again, continuous punches, four continuous punches, swoosh. Mm. And as Mori goes to hit him, Ilpio retaliates with a left hand palm, right towards Mori. Mori kind of weaves out the way. Boom! We see a giant crater crack. Both of them take damage. Mori, little, even though he weaved that, he still took a bit of damage. But Ilpio took heavy damage from this like last flurry of blows from Mori. He lost 30, 330 HP. He's at 210 now. Out of 560, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he lost 350. Excuse me, not 350. And Mori lost 75. Everyone shook it in the crowd. Boom. Shit. Yo, Mori lifts his hand off of Ilpio's face. And like you see, low-key trickle of blood, bro. Yeah, Mori took some damage too. So like he's obviously... Oh, shit. Wait, bro. I thought that was 75. I didn't see... That that was 715, bro. Like, bro, because of the way the the lettering and the shadow of the numbers are, I gotta really go close to see how it really is. So it's 350 for Ilpio. And then 715 for Mori. So Mori took heavy damage. And it didn't even look like he connected, bro. But he definitely did. Boom, Ilpio cracks him. Oh shit, hold on. So wait, Mori's like fucking him up though. Because he has Ilpio down kind of, right? Ilpio does a move, Mori weaves it two times and boom. Knocks him down again, crack. And then he goes... Weak point of Samsu. It's weak. That's, he, that's all he says? Oh, nah. Mori did not... Yo. <laughs> I thought he was going to give an actual weakness. He just goes, yo, the reason of your shit is that it's weak, bro. It shit is ass. <laughs> yo, it's weak. Ah, Mori Jin. He is strong. Will Park be defeated like this? The key. The other key, which is... Which one do you think it is? So, we see Muji and Park over here watching the fight and thinking back to what he talked about with old boy Omega. I forgot his name, bro. Omega with the guy with the hood. You know? 
I guess you already know, don't you? Hmm. I can't believe everything that he said. Il Pio Park. Or. Listen, Mushhead. If. It. Mr. Mushhead. If you get on his nerves, he'll break every bone in your body. Oh, I remember that fucking warning that Gramps gave old boy. That's what I'm thinking now, Kiji. I think they're both keys or the guy in the hood is wrong about Il Pio and it's actually Mori. You know? Because Mori moving too different compared to everybody else. The only niggas comparable are Shark Boy and um Il Pio. So I I kinda think they're both keys, bro. Listen, I said, if you get on his nerves, he'll break every bone in your body. Mori Jin or Young Master. Mm, so he's still thinking about it. The takeover of Sing of Six Sung is going smoothly. Okay, you may go. Shark Boy plotting something, bruv. Hey, Il Pyo, what the heck are you doing? Il Pyo? Take Jigal? So so we see these three top players are now he's watching. And we see Mu Jin looking on as well. Mmm, so. Right. I'm, bro. But that's what I'm thinking. I don't know if there's multiple keys or if they're playing up that all three of these might be one of the. They could be one. Yeah. You know? I think it could be one of these three. Or, yeah. Because these three are the only comparable ones, really, in terms of this higher level strength, bro. Because even Dayweed and and Mira aren't really fucking with Mori if he was to really go crazy. You know, I feel like I feel like. So Mori gets his hand up, gets him open up, ready to keep on. And again, they get in the stance once more. Right high kick. So, this man. Il Pio goes for the high kick. Mori goes to dodge. Mmm. But then something else happened. Boom. Oh, okay. Got you. So they're kind of like teaching each other about their fucking moves, Loki. Because Mori using Gaksu. And then Il Pio kind of blocks it. Boom. He goes, yo, when you conduct Gaksu. It's hard to read your opponent's double movement. So he goes for a kick, but also a punch, and the punch lands. Il Pio. I fully understand every bit of Sam Su. Of Sam Su. Park counteracts. Counterattack, excuse me. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. So Mori again. He's gonna actually spit some true weak points of Sam Su, bruv. So as he counterattacks, he does what he what someone did in an earlier fight, the leverage guard. He grabs old boy's hood. And he goes, that's leverage guard. Weak point of Re Re Taekwondo number one. It's vulnerable. Oh, so he's not even saying weak points to Sam Su. He's repeating the weak points of renewal. And we and I think Mori's mindset here is because I think he's realized that Sam Su is kind of derivative of Re Taekwondo. So maybe the same things can apply, right? So he then goes to use weak point number one, vulnerable in a close, a close attack, close fight, I should say. He grabs old boy's head. Mori is conducting dirty boxing and he just... Hit him right in the face, bro. Solved. <laughs> Yo, so he's really going through and gonna solve all these weak points of renewal with stuff he's seen from people fight already, bro. You know? Because he's seen somebody use dirty boxing. I don't remember if it was Day Wee or somebody else in the tournament. But somebody has, you know... Definitely used this technique before. Solved. Boom. Knocks him back. Head. Thud. Boom. 
re taekwondo reverse dengue so he goes for a head kick fakes a head kick and boom sweeps the leg more catches him pow weak point weak point number two attack points are limited pow hits him again right in the stomach solved re taekwondo orang so, Mori, again, he's going through and solving all these weak points that old boy said he had, bro. This is a flex, though. <laughs> this is a flex. To have somebody tell you that all the weak points of your fighting style, and then to, within not even 10 minutes later, solve them all, it's a flex, bro. I ain't gonna cap to you. That's a flex. That's a flex, boy. <laughs> Pow! Hits him with an elbow. Weak point number three. It puts a burden on your body. How will you deal with it? Don't worry. I'll train my body, he says. Boom! Hits him. Wolfgang Swordsmanship. Tong Bequan. Hits him with another mirror technique, boy. I feel like Ilpio went into his, into his training, Mori. I definitely... I don't know. I don't know if I fully believe that. Because Ilpio definitely wanted to win. Because winning helps his friend. Who has the, the illness or whatever they have, you know? In the hospital. So, Ilpio definitely wanted to win. So, I don't know. I don't think it's a scenario where he went in to just train Mori just to help him, help him out. That don't think that happened, you know? I think he came in this cocky, you know? And he was like, I'm going to set up the whole scenario. I know his fighting style. I'm going to take out all the weak points, show him all the shit, and he'll be done. What he didn't account for is Mori being able to use these other techniques from his friends, bro. That's what I think the bottom line of this really is, you know? That's what I think it is. And, he says, I'll take your advice about a clean finish. And he, boom, stomps on old boy, cracks him, it'll poke. You see bones cracking. Is the match coming to an end? <gasps> Il Pio! And oh no. They going into a backstory? Is he done? I don't think so, bruh. I think this is gonna lead into Il Pio's power. Il Pio's power, bro. Because he hasn't shown it yet. And we know he used something to clear those trees, bro. But this is cause for warning. Going into the backstory, no, that's what we saw. To be honest, two months before the national competition, Sun Ah, Hyung Bok, you guys are useless at national at national competition. All you can do is play is play for time and exhaust the opponents. So I so you will be there to fill up the number, not to fight. That's what I want. Backstory is instant death or power up, right? <laughs> so we gotta see which one it is. <laughs> It's okay. You can take advantage of us. Hey, yo. As long as you can, as long as I can help you, I'll do anything. Yes, we have two months. You can train us. No way, he says. You're overestimating yourselves. You are no use to me at all, he says. Damn, Ilpio. What? How can you say that to us? Sing up. Uh, Opens the door. Uh, Seng Yun. He didn't mean it, he says. Okay, so we'll see what he actually means. My sister injured her, injured her leg and became disabled at a competition. Ilpio is afraid that would happen again. I will. I will. I will fix your leg. I'll fix your leg. I will. I promise, you see? And this is why... I don't think he went into this to just, you know, fucking train Mori. Because he really wants to help his fucking friend. I'll, I will, I will fix your leg. He's being harsh because he worries about us. Please understand him and help him. All right. You better brace yourselves. Because from now on... I'm going to take advantage of you. That's what we want. Solved. I don't think so, he says. He gets up. 
He goes, Mori just doesn't say anything, huh? He reduced the damage. He reduced the damage by counterattacking at the very at that very moment, bro. <laughs> Pause, yo, facts. You are still sloppy. But it's impressive that you got that you it got improved in such a short time. Huh. Do me a favor. As I told you, your re taekwondo has three fatal weak points. But think the other way around. If you make up for those weak points, re taekwondo will be perfect. Mori, you can be much stronger. Crazy. Bruv. So Mori gets Mori gets chills on his body, bro. But it will be me who's going to win this competition. So the man took heavy damage, bro. So Mori again, still at 65. This boy is now at 52. And he says a win. Okay, he got up though. So we, we gonna see. I think he gonna show his power next one. So let's go. Let's keep going here, bro. Oh my God. My first memory of life. Vroom, vroom, we see this boy. Il Pio was my father's funeral. My dear Il Pio, you'll be fine, won't you? Be a good boy, okay? My second memory at a strange place with strange people. Ouch. Ah. Blood tells. T -t -t. I don't know why, but my grand uncle didn't like me or and my family. There I was, all by myself. So we see it, more Ilpio backstory, which is finna be a power up because he just got up, bro. All are you Ilte's grandson? And we see Mori there snoozing. Hmm? Pats him. And that is my third memory. And you see the time. Oh, shit. His literal third fucking memory is fucking seeing this guy. Jin Tae Jin. Bro. I wish I could have been here sooner. I'm sorry to come late, dear. There were so many bad guys I had to, I had to give lessons. You had to, you, you just You just look like your grandpa. Who are you? I'm a friend of your grandpa. My grandpa? Here, take this. Your grandpa was very strong. Well, of course. I am stronger than him, though. <laughs> this nigga shit. <Jin. laughs> anyway, he was a great hero who died to save the world. Of course, I'm greater than him, though. Please become a great man like him when you grow up, dear. Somehow, I felt thankful for his compliment about my family, which I had never experienced before. Oh, right. And we see, we cut back present day. Mori, Il Pio, still throwing hands. Hey, Mori goes for a punch. Man dodges. Wolfgang Swordsman, Tonge Khan, Sam So, Bang Yo. So we see, goes for a palm strike. Il Pio blocks it. Boop. Chupat. Boom. So shit. So for the palm strike, Il Pio actually grabs Mori's like hand, interlocks hands, and grabs him. Some shit, but as it happens though, Mori breaks out, grabs the hood of Ilpio, and boom, knees him right in the stomach. Pip, good, a real fight, huh? Oh shit! And as that happens, Ilpio pulled down the old sleep shade that Mori has on his head. He Mori goes ah, puts it back up, and as that happens, you see foot already connected right in his head. Boom. You must win by hook or crook. Gosh, what happened? Jin has been beaten up like a dog. <laughs> Re Taekwondo, back do. Back do too. Let me see. He's strong, but his power fluctuates when his feelings and his opponents. Oh. His power fluctuates with his feelings and opponents. And he knows nothing about tactics. Yeah, Mori don't know shit about that boy. 
Of course, he wins the weak, but cannot defeat the strong. Oh, God. This nigga don't know his shit. Especially like him. Determine, determine your fighting. Determine your fighting turn with care. The match order affects the outcome of the game. So Moe stumbles. <laughs> goes and he says that Moe goes for a punch. Weak point number two. And he just says, bing. Hits him right in the arm. Boom. And twice in the head. Bing, bing. Three quick piece from Il Pio. Three quick ones. Your attack points are still limited. Think. And Il Pio is boom, 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 boom. Getting him. And everyone's thinking, Mori is losing. So Mori is now, after turning the tides a little bit, Ilpio again resets and starts beating up Mori again. And Mori is again on the back foot. Mori is losing. There's no way. There must be a way to beat him. Think. A month ago. Mm, so now we're getting a back story. We're getting a little flashback from Mori. A month ago, Bong Chimney's Oriental Clinic. No human vital points by number. The more combination of numbers I make, the more attack points I get. Pa! What for? And he threw the book away. <laughs> it's like a Moria clown. Block. Boom. Oi. Tiger Club. Tiger Cub. You are slow. Jin's counterattack. Pow! How? So again... Jin counterattacks, something happens, and as he says that, Il Pio's like, wait, how? As you said, I will win by hook or crook, and this nigga did not literally memorize. No fucking way, bro. This nigga is different, bro. So, from looking at the book for literally, like, a second, bro, he knows all the numbers of the vital points, bro. Oi, Tiger Cub, you're, you're, you are slow. Jin's counterattack. Pow, pow. How? As you said, I will win by hook or crook. And he sees. He sees all the fucking points, bro. And he see, says a combination of fucking numbers, bro. 1, 9, 3, 7, 14, 5, 6. 3, 45, 4, 8, 2, 4, 8, 1, 1. And we see Il Pio is now on the back foot. Shook as Mori. Boom, 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 boom. Hits him with a bunch of punches. Good. You must get harder. Hey, yo. Pause. You must get better. Faster. Stronger, Jin Mori. Let me see. Damn. And he said, Bo, <laughs> yo, facts, boy. That nigga wildin'. What do you say that for, boy? <laughs> Mor Mori, though, loses 23 HP at 42. Il Pio 17 at 35. So they are... Trade and hits right now, boy. Boom. Mori down to 36 again. Il Pio to 25. Pow, pow. What a dog fight. And they're just cracking each other, bro. Boom, boom, boom. Mori gets stronger. Is it, me? Is, is it only me? To me, it looks like Il Pio's training him. Oh, yo. Aokiji was right, bro. Aokiji was right. Because even this boy Ryu was like, yo, to me, it looked like Il Pio treating that nigga. Like, why? Huh, I'm interested now. They're pulling the Naruto Sasuke final fight? Facts. A drop, drop. Oh. Re Taekwondo. Three stage, whole chook. Save your energy. Crack, 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 crack. Re Taekwondo, front hole chuck, more, more, more. Re Taekwondo, back kick. So Mori is still using all these named attacks. He's a land. He's like kind of landing them, but Ilpio was like moving a little swiftly, you know. Mori, hole chicks won't work on him, huh? Wind? Mm, he's cooking up something, bro. Mori's cooking up something with these kicks, bro. Huh? Wind? Wind is blowing to the ring. 
Re Taekwondo, Jin Ho Chuk, Roar. He said, huh? It's now. Re Taekwondo, Reverse Jin Ho Chuk. So again, this man does, we saw this kind of before. That Jin tried this and he like blocked it. You know what I'm saying? He does it again. He blocks. Spin. Oh, shit. What the fuck? So as this happens, Mori's spinning, right? Then we see Ilpio's feet squeak across the ring, making a mark. And then it ignites his fucking foot like he's Sanji, bro. Weak point number three. It puts a burn on your body. Solution. Use the strength of the opponent or the or the surroundings. Rumble. Enriched air is prone to ignite easily. Interesting. So is that why he made Mori bring the wind? So Mori looks on. Rumble. Remember. Samsu's secret art. Fire Chook. And we see, boom. Hits him with a fucking fire kick, bro. So, I'm gonna assume... I'm gonna assume this is the move he used to take out all the trees. This nigga Shinra? Yo, facts though. <laughs> Yo, some fire force shit you're spitting. Yo, but this shit looks crazy though, bro. Oof. He hits him and goes for a kick. Double flare chook. Double flare slash. Boom. Hits Mori. I don't know if Mori... What happened with that? Nothing. Everyone in the crowd is looking on, shocked. The fucking flames are still fucking e igniting, erupting. Ilpio looks on. Fazoom. Flames are... Flames are when Ho-Chook meets, re meets reverse Ho-Chook. Creates turbulence. And he remembers back to, again, when they did it before and they created the reverse wind. Try to stop it. Yo, wait, what did Jin do, bro? What did he do, bro? So did, so then, so did Jin reverse the ver reverse, bro? Did he counter the counter, bruv? Wait, bro. So he said flames are when a Ho-Chuk meets, meets reverse Ho-Chuk and creates turbulence. That's crazy. That's crazy. Try to stop it. And using that force to attack. Yes. Did Jin Ho Chuk absorb and reverse? <laughs> did, did Jin Ho Chuk absorb my reverse Jin Ho Chuk? Like, yo, my brain is fucking exploding right now, bro. Third fire Chuk. Puts up a flame wall front kick. It'll be a front click. Flame wall comes up. He's kind of going crazy, boy. Jin Mori original. Nanyon Gak. Yo, I don't want to play Uno with this nigga Mori. Facts. Yo, <laughs> reverse the reverse the reverse. Yo, crazy. Sam Su Ultimate Secret Art. Sam Yang Mu Old Gak. Boom. They hit each other. Kicks these one with like wind and fire. Another one with just fire. Boom. Clash. Boom. Huge explosion, bro. Oh, right. Why don't you say hello to him? Flap, flap. Wait, they, they actually talked. His name is Mori Jin. Wah! Mori is four years old, but somehow he's going slow. Wiggle, wiggle. As I said, I'm busy doing this and that, so I'm not, I'm not sure how long I'll be with him. Wah! Unlike other babies, 
He grows slow and gets upset easily. Well, he needs lots of help. They just talk. If you see Mori again, teach him this and that, will you? What? Oh my god, okay, so this is why he subconsciously wants to train Mori. It fully makes sense. Because before we got this, we didn't know that they had this conversation. When they showed this before in the earlier flashback with, with Ilpio, earlier chapters, all we saw is Gramps give him the book, be like, yo, become a good guy and dip off, right? But we see that he doubled back and told him, oh yeah, I forgot. When you see my, my boy Mori again, like, teach him a little something, something. You know, because he, 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 he ain't all there. Wow. And you say, ha ha. And he smiles. He goes, yes. And he goes, Mr. Jin. Oh, my God. And we see the dust settles. Il Pio on the ground. Blue sky looking up in the air. Mori down to 8 HP. And we see Il Pio at zero. Mori is strong enough. I thought Ho Chooks were useless because they were because they were they were for reverse Ho Chook. By the way, not only they we, but also mine. He imitated skills by seeing only by seeing them only once. What kind of monster is he? Well, that's what made him win though. Anyways, the match is over. But what are those looks for? And you see, old Shark Boy gets up. Il Pio, you disappointed me. It's not over yet, huh? It's not over yet? Okay. So is it... it oh, shit. Il Pio still has one last move. GP... Negative one. The fuck do you mean negative one, bro? Yeah, I think it's Charak time, bro. It's power time, bro. Holy shit, bro. Holy shit. There was a god. Despite being an insignificant creature on the ground, he disciplined himself for thousands of years. After he became the greatest god to serve the great Jade Emperor. He's under the writer's imagination was added in the middle of the story. Okay. Let's see. Il Pio. You. Whew. Good job. The winner is. Gee, my hand got burned. And you see, as he goes. As he goes to tell that Mori's the winner. Beep! Something happens. Minus one. He goes, huh? Well now, calm down and... Boom! And as that happens, bro, we see a fucking, like, the silhouette of some kind of, like, bird animal, bro. And a chill just falls all over Mori's body, bro. He, what? Boom! Giant flash of light behind Mori. Mori fucking looks back like, what the fuck is going on back there, bro? What? A minus GP? Once upon a time, there was a fox. Mr. Park. After thousands of years of Taoist occult arts practice, it became a god. And assisted the great... And assisted the great Jade Emperor. Chinese mythology. As usual, those those who are called the gods are so small-minded. And a lot of other gods, including the great Jade Emperor, feared alien power of the fox and admitted and attempted to purge it. The fox got furious by their betrayal. It devastated heaven and ran away to the ground. Since then, 
it is lying dormant waiting for the chance for revenge. 1,000 year old Taoist occultist arts, which tore gods in heaven, the rage and hatred against them, and the power even the great Jade Emperor was afraid of. All of these belong to him. What's that? Borrowed power? And we see the one who can drag down the cocky gods from heaven. He's the key. So the key is literally Il Pio, bro. He's the key. Kojosa, the legendary nine tailed fox. That's crazy. Mori looks back like, bro, are you serious? Are you serious, bro? He goes, yes. Yo, this bitch has a nosebleed, bro. She loves old boy. Are you okay? I, I think I'm exhausted. Pat, pat. This nigga's got, bro, this nigga regen health, bro. He went to 32 HP, bro. Oh my God. Pah. Mori, listen. Finally, they started. Now. They are ranking. They are racking in our stocks. If it goes like this, we'll be taken over. It's time for divine judgment. Oh my god. This is OD, bro. He, boom, kicks Mori. Mori, <sighs> weaving back. Whoosh. Mori goes in for a punch. Oh boy, blocks. Tap. Hits him again. What's that? Boring. Stop dragging it on. Focus. We're a team, right? Uh, We must focus on winning. Try to kill time as much as you can so that I can get a better... I can get to know his ability better. Okay. And she puts them in the back. Hell yes. Team, let's go. Team shit. Spend all my strength on defending in order to help Mira to beat him. He goes, a good decision. That is. Is it right? And damn, we see this guy. He goes to hit and he goes, speed blitz right to the other side of Mori, bro. When Mori's like this, he's right over here. Guard, boom. He punches Mori and sends him fucking... 12 feet into the air with a little little punch, bro. Like, at this point, like, when someone has a, 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 a borrowed god power and our old boy Mori doesn't have that, it's hard for him to really compete unless he unlocks his right now, which I think he finna do. Bro. Boom. Hits him. Shh. What the fuck? So this guy just hit, kick the air, bro. And then also he's more like five hits in the air. More way knocked out. The hood puts the hood up. Bro, nigga, a bitch. Wow, you rock. Rah! And we see the guy, Mage. Next match, Mira. Damn. So Mori got got, boy. It's he's done so. He got finished, dude. Damn, bro, that's so fucked, bro. <laughs> Next match. Mira Yo versus Il Pio Park. Plus 32. GOH, chapter 85, end. No comments? Okay, bet. Oh my god, bro. That fight was incredible, though. That fight, even though Mori lost, I mean, at, th at that point, if Il Pio, once Il Pio t turns on the, the, the god power, it's clipped, bro. Once he turns on the god power, it's over, dude. It's really, it's really, you know, lights out for that boy. So, it's what it is. It's tough, man. It's tough, but... Oh, uh, I'm curious to see.
But what's in the comment you already know? What do I already know? That more finna get a power? Is my is my old theory from way back when finna actually be correct? Don't confirm, but like, I feel like it has some plausible, you know what I mean? I feel like it's plausible. But I'm curious about this next match, bro. Because it's going to be just Charak versus Charak, bro. Dang, this is crazy, bro. It was a good fight, though, for Mori. Good fight. But we also know that these dudes, that they know he's the key. And they're looking for old boy. So they're going to come put him to this fight. So I'm also curious about the hooded figures. Those dudes, the cult, you know? But, yo. Geo's is getting fucking juicy, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's getting juicy. But if you made it to the end of the live reaction, I appreciate y'all so much. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like on the video. It really helped the boy out. Also, drop a sub. I'm on the road to 1K, so a sub would really help us out here. So, yeah. I'm going to see y'all next time. Stay safe out in these streets, and I'm going to see y'all soon. Peace.